Guys, welcome back to another episode of the wonderful The Arsenios ESL Podcast. Today we got a negative factual question that we're going to be diving into. This one I love because I just love plugging in the information from the answers into the paragraph. Some people do get confused, and again, a lot of my students over the years have gotten confused because they're looking at different things. But in this case, we're looking specifically about how things are affected. And so... If you end up looking and you find a specific word, but it's not relatable to how it is affected to Earth's surface, then that would be the correct answer in terms of it not being correct. So this is exactly what we're trying to break down and stuff like that in this specific podcast. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this bad boy. Let's dive in. To do during these, all you have to do is plug in the answers into the paragraph. So going back to the short-term effects, tidal waves and fires, we already know A and B were mentioned, so we could confirm them as being in the paragraph. Now, what we have to look for is insufficient solar radiation and or iridium. Now, if you see iridium here, is an element that is usually uncommon near surf, sur, near Earth's surface, but in but it is abundant in some meteorites. Mm. What does that even mean? All right, let's look for solar radiation over here. They believe that this impact generated a thick cloud of dust that enveloped Earth, shutting out much of the incoming, it, shutting out much of the incoming solar radiation and reducing plant photosynthesis to very low levels. Mm -hmm. I believe that C is there, therefore D is the answer. Now, let me break this down again. What oh, we yeah, have to do, this it, says, it says all of the following, right? Mm -hmm. Contributed to the mass extinction events of the KT period. What I need to look for is the vocabulary. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, two seconds, hold on, hold on. The straw's terrible. The straw's terrible. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so anyways, uh, with that being said, what I'm going to do here and what I do normally is I plug in the information. So, tidal waves. Uh, I look for tidal waves in the paragraph. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Fires, it was in the same sentence because I remember why, because it was the question before. Mm -hmm. Now the next two were weird because Iridium, I read that sentence and I'm just like, what does that have to do with anything? But it, in the other sentence says that, uh, okay, it, it was likely that the Iridium just sediment, sedimentary road, blah, blah, blah deposit uh, had originated in a oh yeah no, right okay and so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it did mention iridium is in an element that is usually uncommon near the earth's surface but it mm -hmm. is abundant what does that have to do with the extinction yeah Woo see when you develop questions and you establish that inner coach within you that's when you end up doing mm -hmm. a very very good job Okay, and so looking at this right there, I'm like, okay, what does that have to do with the extinction? So that's why I said, you know what, let me go look for solar radiation. And the incoming solar, solar radiation was blocked, thus reducing plant life. That's why mm -hmm. I ended up selecting that as the answer. Does that make sense? Mm 